Hi, I'm Pioneer Field Agronomist Zach Forey. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about soybean planting rates. First of all, soybeans are not a very responsive crop to planting rates. Once you get about a, above about 50,000 plants per acre, the uh, yield curve is fairly flat. Having said that, there still is an optimum planting rate. And of course, what we're looking for is the optimum economic planting rate, where every seed we plant is giving us more than uh, its cost in a return. So first of all, let's look at the data for our region. If you look at the data for North Dakota and Northwest Minnesota, it's gonna be different than it is further south. If you go south, Southern Minnesota and further south, you get into recommended seeding rates that are lower than what we plant up here. And the data that's been generated up here, and there's been quite a bit of plant population data generated, suggests that higher seeding rates are justified in, in North Dakota and in Northern Minnesota. So what the research shows is that we want to get about 140,000 plants per acre established. To get 140,000 plants per acre, we have to seed higher than that. So generally, we're going to be somewhere in the range of 10% um, of the seeds that don't germinate, and 90, around a 90% germ or so. So if we take 10% off, we add 14,000 more. That gives us a seeding rate of 154,000. After that, we need to subtract out kind of an average for mortality uh, of seeds that germinate but don't get established. Uh, and that will vary depending on field conditions, uh, the planter being used, and so on. So drills and air seeders tend to have a little bit uh, higher mortality than, um, than planters do, wider row planters who are more precision in their planting depth. However, if you look at wider rows, wider rows tend to have a little bit higher mortality because those seeds are closer together. And something about those seeds being closer together causes there to be slightly higher mortality. So depending on planting conditions, we, we may very well be adding another 10 or 15 percent. And so that gets us up into the 160 to often 170,000 seeds per acre range. Now that's regardless of row spacing and regardless of variety. So for narrow rows, wide rows, whatever variety, we're looking at getting an established stand of about 140,000 plants per acre. Now, are there any circumstances where we would we would deviate from that? Well, there are a couple that I can think of. So one of them would be white mold. If we're in a high white mold pressure situation, a lower seeding rate may very well be justified. Both a lower seeding rate and wider rows to give more air throughout that canopy, more distance between plants so that canopy can dry out and be less conducive for white mold. So in that case, we might be lowering that seeding rate somewhat depending on the severity of the white mold that we expect. A reason that we might be increasing population would be for iron chlorosis. When seeds are closer together, they tend to assist each other in some way of taking up iron, and there's a, a decrease in the amount of iron chlorosis, particularly in wide rows. So that might be a, a reason that we would go with wider rows and with um, a higher plant population. Uh, some people are looking at variable rate seeding with soybeans, and uh, there isn't a lot of research on this, but generally speaking, it suggests that in high yield areas of a field, optimum plant populations are slightly lower than they are in lower yielding parts of the field. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.